Hello chefs, old and new chefs. Today I will show you how to make my delicious split pea soup. The ingredients needed for this soup will be split peas. Now I've pre-soaked it overnight, which will help it cook faster. One pack of frozen vegetable, and I chose to use the gumbo blend soup mix. So you will need one pack of Jamaican chicken soup mix. Two cans of chicken broth, one large onion, three green onion, a handful of parsley, one branch of celery, and one hot red pepper. This is the last ingredient. You're going to need one pack of chicken thighs boneless. First thing you need to do is cut up the vegetables. So it doesn't matter what order that you take as long as they all chopped. I'm going to do the celery and just cut it up. And I have my parsley. Remember, it's a handful you need. This is less than a handful, but you need a handful. Then my green onion. And place everything in a bowl or a plate and set it aside. The red pepper, you don't cut it up. You're going to put it whole in the soup. Next, you will want to marinate your chicken. And I'm going to leave a video on how to season chicken. Preheat some oil, about two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons. Then you're going to add your vegetables, just some of it, not all. Make sure you get a little bit of each. And you're just going to stir it around and let it simmer until the vegetables are translucent. So now I'm going to add the chicken and I'm going to do the same, fry it up, so it's good. I'm going to turn it and it doesn't stick it up. I'm adding just a little bit of water so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to cover it until the water dries out. And once the chicken has color to it and the water has dried down, you're going to add your other ingredients. Add the peas, the whole bowl of peas. I'm going to stir it up. The mixed vegetable blend. And the mixed vegetable blend has okra, corn, onion, celery, and red peppers. So I'm going to add the whole bag of it. The grace dry soup mix. We add a little bit more of onions and Basically, more vegetables in there. Our two cans of um, chicken broth. And I have to make sure that I don't go over that line. Water to the maximum of the pot. Now, if you notice, I have not added any salt. Let's add the red pepper. So if I put extra salt or anything like that. First thing I'm going to do is remove the pepper so that the soup is not hot. I'm going to stir it up. This is how thick it is. So I'm thinking of adding some water to it. The peas has totally dissolved of water, or half a cup of water actually. Because the soup is so thick. So I just added some water to it and I'll let it simmer on low. Just going to place the cover on it. I'm not going to 
pressure. Now let's make the dumpling. We're going to need two cups of flour. One and a half tablespoon of sugar. I have two cups of water here and I'm going to gradually put it into the bowl. So I'm going to mix my dry ingredients first and gradually add my water. So basically dumplings are like little balls of flour and it doesn't take that many ingredients. So what I'm trying to do is form a dough and those are not the, the dumplings that the Chinese make, this is different. So see the dough is starting to form, you don't want it too dry or too soft, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water. And I've actually used one cup of water. Pull some flour onto my surface, like this. Take the dough out, place it on that flour surface, and I'm going to work it with my hands. Add a little bit of flour on it because it's sticking to my hands. And here's my dough. Pinch a little bit and roll it in my hand to form a ball. And I'm not making them too big because flour swells, gets bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you just roll it. And this could serve at least four people. And once I place it in the soup, it's going to pick up the soup flavor. So let's see. As the soup is simmering on low, I'm going to add the dumplings one by one. Add some water so it can cook. You're going to tell me, oh, you're passing the line in the pot. You can do that if you boil in something. Right now, I'm just going to boil the dumplings. I'm not going to do any pressure cooking. cooking. But I'm right at the level. So I'm gonna let this boil up and I'll be back once the dumplings are done. 